Okay. Um, what I've read about this technique, the Dan Weil technique and all that, and I'm, I'm a new therapist, and I'm thinking, what are you thinking about when you do that? Because it just seems to go so deep and really gets into the story, and I'm, I tend to see, I'm thinking of their feelings and their needs, and I could say a sentence or two, but to get the whole story, what helps you really be so empathic and Gosh, when you kneel by, beside them? <laughs> I, you know, I, I wanted to say something to that because I think that I understand uh, the damn well thing a little bit differently, and that is that, you know, with attack defend, when you get into attack defend mode and think about when you've been there yourself <laughs> in your relationships, you get a constriction of the social processes that are that are normally available to you, and you know, like your sense of humor and. You know, and you know your perspective, and you know stuff like that. A lot of things are just not accessible, and certainly when you are in attack mode, you're trying to have the maximum impact you can, and you get you want to get your leading edge feeling across very strongly. And part of what Dan Weil says is that you know you're not really talking about your mixed feelings about this issue or your positive emotions toward your partner. So he. You know, he knows the clients well enough, uh, which is kind of hard to do in a role play, that he can bring in the positive affect and the mixed feelings as well as the negative. That opens up attack defend in a way, you know, and, and that's kind of where the empathy comes from. You have to have knowledge of these people. And you can say, you know, I know you, you know, I appreciate a lot of things that you do and a lot of things you do around the home and raising the children, but I get terrified when we when we're in debt and it scares me tremendously and then I can't even think about the positive things that you're doing right so kind of like that you know so he's bringing he's bringing in the mixed feelings and the positive affect that kind of opens up attack defend okay a lot of times you're you know he's suggesting doing it with the person you you dislike the most at the moment as a way the, yeah the, per, the person in the couple answer? that you dislike the most yeah sure and I, I use a whole different method than that, which is that when I'm, when I'm listening to each person in turn talk, um, I go inside my body. You notice I, I talk about body a lot, you know. Um, and I have old, old training as a bioenergetic therapist. Maybe that has something to do with it. But I go inside my own body, and I notice... Um, What's my heart doing? What's my gut doing? Uh, I try to um, conjure up my own emotion like an actor would, maybe, uh, but also just in terms of my own body so that, you know, you're, you're putting yourself so much in the other person's shoes, the client's shoes, that you feel it in your whole body, and then you give words to it. You just give words to it. You speak it like a poem, or you speak it like a song, or you speak it like, you know, like a kid, because oftentimes that's where our clients are. Um, so you're doing that with one and then the other. And the hardest thing I have is, is doing it both at the same time. I mean that's that's tricky, and it's you got to have like a two-track memory sort of, um, but that's that's basically what you're doing. So you can use your body as an instrument, really, of measuring and understanding what the other person is feeling, and then give words to it. 